guys i'm just popping in i just wanted to pop on here and just tell you just a little bit what's been going on this summer just putting a little bit of my my powder on here and so i just was in the mood to upgrade my home i have been wanting to upgrade my my kitchen and my living room for the longest time and i thought i was going to get it sooner but you know things happen so it didn't happen so i was like you know what i'm not going to give up on my dream because i wrote it down in my vision book and that is what i'm going to do i am going to upgrade my kitchen so i always when i get my ideas for decorating i usually go to pinterest or either i'm in the home depot store or Lowe's store trying to figure out what do i want so one day i was just in the Lowe's store and i was like you know what i think i'm ready i'm ready to do my upgrades so what i did i did my research to find out don't you know who i want to work on this project um for me and Home Depot, they do have like a like um, thing on their website where you can find people. Just make sure you read the reviews, read the reviews. And thank God I found the first person that I did find, they were good. They did an excellent job with my home. And I, when I moved in this home 2005, everything was just white white and I was like oh I said I don't know what to do I don't know how to don't you know decorate and all that so like I said Pinterest was my friend and just looking at some YouTube videos and just going in and out of the stores and you see just by watching TV it's like mm, okay I like what she has on the wall I like that picture so get that theme and then just do your own put your own little spin on to it um, but other than that that's what's going on for this video. I'm going to show you a few things that I did update. I did update my kitchen and I did update my living room. And it's like, I'm ready. I'm ready to clean house. Ready to get all the old things out and bring the new things in. So anyway, um, that's what I'm going to do. But let My kitchen is all painted. Um, they're going to touch up a few things. Um, but this is the color that's going to be in the living room too. So they're going to run that color just all the way in the living room. Because this is the gray that I had on the wall. And it's just so dark. You can't tell, I guess, on camera looks. But anyway, here. So you got that the white primer and then that dark gray. It just made it look so dark and gloomy in here. <laughs> so... That's why I just wanted them to run that color all the way into the living room. Just to make it look brighter and just more, you know, like not gloomy looking. And my popcorn ceiling is gone. Like I said, they're coming back to touch up um, a lot um, on the ceilings. And um, I think I'm going to keep this chandelier. I like it, but I am getting a new light for right there and I'm going to have um, like a recess light there they supposed to do my cabinets um, the end of June that is um, my scheduled date I don't have an exact date but um, yeah I'm supposed to get my cabinets done um, the end of June they are going to work on my deck it just needs to be um, power washed and painted or stained or whatever you want. The floors that I got, you can you pretty much can go with a little bit of everything. Here's a close up shot. So if you had tan on your wall or if you had um, like the gray, like I have the light, this is like a light gray. So it might not be picking up good on the camera, but it's a light gray. So I thought that it would go nice with these floors and I like it. So I'm glad I did select this color. And then here is the um, towels that I 
for my um that I had down. These are like the what is it like the peel and stick that I had down for the longest, which I enjoyed those. They did last a long time, but um they did start coming up a little bit when I went to like mop the floor. But now I got the new ones, and which I do like, and they are gonna put like a little white border like around all the way around the room so once they get it down and i am going to run this floor all the way into my into my living room so so then i got my railings done and i still need to be another coat added on to it this is like a espresso like an espresso color like an espresso brown Did pick up this light here I think that will look pretty um, in the hallway okay guys I just wanted to give you another little peep at the house It's starting to come together um, the floors are done the chairs are back in their spot I have my pictures hung and I did get my my recess light here and and that's my new light there love it love it um that light there came from um home depot so like that one i got a recess light here and i love this um artwork right here um well it's kind of a, like a metal art thing that i got from pier one if you remember pier one they always had beautiful um pictures and things to hang on the wall and I finally hung up my picture here that I got. I got this one from Lowe's. And that was about three years ago. I had to take the things out of my cabinet because they're doing my countertops um, tomorrow. So I'm getting new countertops there. So I did a little cleaning. This is my other light, just like this one. This one came from... That one came from Home Depot. This one came from Lowe's. Lowe's and um, Home Depot, they had like different styles. Like this one's a little bigger than the one in the living room. So yeah. And I got another recess light right there. Hello guys, I just wanted to give you an update on my new kitchen. So everything has been pretty much completed. There are a few little things that needs to be like touched up or so. I do want to get a new um, stove and I do want to get a new refrigerator. So that is on my list. Um, I guess in the next maybe month or two. But um, I wanted to show you my my new cabinets and countertops. So I'm getting ready to turn you around. Here's my new kitchen. This is what she's looking like. So, cabinets. There. And I like this part here. Yes, it's the soft touch ones. Now over here on this side, I did have two cabinets um, that was over top of the refrigerator. I asked them to uh, remove those um, two cabinets. It was They were just like that, just little small cabinets. And I asked if they can remove the cabinets because when it came to me finding a refrigerator, it was hard finding the height that I needed to go in that space when the cabinets were there because it was just hard, you know, getting them in between um, the space in that cabinet. So I said, just remove them. So now I can get whatever height refrigerator I want to get um, to fit in that area. And I think it looks more updated too without those two cabinets right there. Yes, my mom's sign. My mom's sign is still up there. My daughter, she made this sign for me when we first 
moved in this home and she said, mommy, I want to make you something. And she made me the sign and it's been hanging up there ever since, what, 2005. She was 10 years old. Yeah, so that's my little sign there. Um, I am going to paint that um, area there the same color the wall. So that's going to be taken care of. But yes, I am happy with my new, new kitchen here. That's my trash can. Yeah. Everything is pretty much almost done in here. Little things I want to get. Let me show you the mess that I have to get started with, though. I'm getting ready to turn you around in a minute, but it's amazing with when it it's amazing when it comes to cleaning your cabinets out. So you know when you're getting your cabinets done, they tell you to clean everything out your cabinet. So when I did clean everything out of my cabinets, I did um, go through a lot of stuff. I tossed a lot of stuff, gave a lot of stuff to Goodwill, and I still have a lot of stuff. Yes. And I need to go through it. I'm going to go through and throw a lot away. I'm going to give a lot to Goodwill too as well. But I want to turn around and show you all the stuff that I had in my cabinets. This is just pretty much that's, that was left after I cleaned the stuff that I had in there. But anyway, I'm getting ready to turn you around. Like I said, I'm going to toss it and give some to Goodwill. One moment. Let's see. Yes. This is what it looked like. Let me see if I can turn the light on. Here, here's the light. We got all kinds of stuff here. Yes, it's amazing how much you accumulate when you're in your home. I stuffed a lot of things in my pantry. I need to clean that out. But yes, water. I am addicted to like water cups. Water cups. Every time I see one, oh, it's cute. But yeah. These are all my things that I need to take care of. Hopefully, it only took me actually one whole day to get everything out of the cabinets. Hopefully, it'll take me maybe one, I'm going to say two days to get everything that I want back in the cabinets because then it gives me time to, you know, go through everything to put, don't you know, to put to Goodwill or um, throw it in the trash. So... Other than that, that is my task for this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, just wanted to pop in and show you my kitchen. Yes, I'm very, very happy. More. Yes. Everything has been updated. And I'm going to look for my two appliances here. Okay guys, just wanted to pop in. So my little section here where the cabinets have been taken down, it's been painted, so it looks good. Probably about one more coat and it'll really, you know, be all set. But yeah, it looks good, it looks good. And I'm ready for my new refrigerator. Alrighty, so here are my pots and pans that I will be keeping. So those are in good condition. I went through them and um, everything. Um, yes, I do need to wash them before I put them up. So that will be happening um, tonight. So I'm gonna wash everything and, um, and dry them and then put them away. But let me show you over here. Here's my water bottles that I decided on. These are the only ones I'm gonna keep. I know it's still a lot, oops. I know it's still a lot of um, water bottles, but I like these, I like these, and I just switch them out. Stash that's going to Goodwill, um, right here, a lot of glasses, and um, so I do have a few water bottles over there. 
have not too many, but um, I'm still going through stuff. But that's my stash so far. And um, here are my candles. I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put my candles since I did take down my um, my two um, cabinets from over top of the refrigerator because that's where I used to um, put my my candles at. These are my warmers. I like to use for my um. It's like a warmer, a large warmer that I have that I plug up. And you just stick these in there and it makes the room smell so good. Um, I usually get like the soft scented ones here. Just very soft, nice and relaxing. You can get them in different scents, I guess, like Christmas if you want Christmas scent or so. But they smell really good. They last a long time as well. So I love to burn these here in the house and of course you got these came from Ulta like these two those two are my favorite and my little seasonings I don't have a lot of seasonings because I don't cook um, with a whole lot of seasonings and salts and stuff but that's what I have there and just my oils here that I usually use I don't use too much but anyway I'm still I still have a lot over there to get through Mainly it's like um like my little canned goods to put in the cabinet and cleaning um yeah and cleaning supplies and stuff. But I threw this stuff, of course, the stuff on the table. Like I said, I'm putting it to the side because I do need to wash it. I did wash my dishes and dry them. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm away and I did get rid of a lot of them. So that looks good. And then here's this side my cups and glasses there we go looks nice yeah so that's all I'm I'm going to um, I love that keep there so yeah I did toss a few of my plates and things cookbooks I only have a few cookbooks I haven't used them in so long I'm trying to decide should I keep them or not you know you can find everything on the website now on the internet so it's like oh do I want to keep these cookbooks but these are the few that I have so I have this one here I think I might have cooked um, did maybe about maybe about four little recipes or so out of this book and look how huge it is it's a nice book I guess to have um, I bought this when I was when I first moved um, moved in here it has, a, it has the pictures and everything so I'm trying to decide do I want to keep her or not I don't know I don't know that one and then I do have this one right here fix it and forget it more of like a crock pot kind of um, meals here, easy, fast um, recipes. Um, I have used this one a couple of times, but it's been a while because it's like now I know what recipes I like out of the book, so I just automatically just, you know, fix it. And then I have this one here, little everyday little meals. And then of course, you know, I have the, the blender here, so it comes with this book. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to keep these books or do I just put them in Goodwill? I haven't used them. What do I do? I don't know. I usually keep them up here with my um, with my blender mixer and everything. Is, so I don't know. It'll be out the way. I'll think about it and see. 
Okay, guys, you remember uh, back in the day, I don't know if you guys did this. I know I wasn't a good cook. I was just learning how to cook. But every time I wanted to find something, um, you know, something I wanted to make, I would always go on the website and they print the, you know, print the recipe off. I still got my whole bag of recipes here, <laughs> which uh, I am going to go through them and that's what I'm doing now. I'm going through them and pretty much kind of tossing what I, you know, what I don't want because I wrote everything down or either I just have it in the country and I've been making it for so long. I just, don't you know, remember the recipe. So like these here, like crab cake. I had a crab cake recipe. It's a lot of different ones out there. I had an apple pie recipe. So just little things like that and then smoothies. I was like, it's so many of these recipes in here and I was always picking, um, like printing out like cookie recipes because when your kids are little, you know, you want to be that mom to make those Christmas cookies and cookies for, you know, when they take to school and everything. And I was like, oh my God. And of course mine never came out good. They was hard as up, <laughs> hard as a baseball. But I finally, finally got the hang of it as the years went on. I guess she was pretty much like in high school by that time. And I was like, okay, they're getting better and better. So anyway, that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going through my um, recipes here, tossing them. Because I actually wrote a lot of them down just to have so I can remember in my um, book here. And that's pretty much all I need is these um yeah these recipes right here and then now I could just easy just put it up in the cabinet when I need to use it but yeah I just wanted to go through this thing just to see what I had it I just had so many like I said so many so many cookie recipes I used to love just making trying to be the perfect cookie you know mom to say oh you made can you make some cookies for the bake sale we enjoy them that wasn't me <laughs> but I tried I did try but yeah meatballs and then you have roasted whatever chicken here I have uh, a ginger what is this ginger snap cheesecake I never did master the um the cheesecake and I love cheesecake and um brownies and um pea soup all those different kind of little recipes mashed potatoes I'm still not a good perfect mashed potato maker but people eat it when I fix it and that, that that's all that matters yeah so other than that just going through my recipes and tossing them so I think I'm going to just toss the whole bag man I've had enough fun with this <laughs> but yeah look at so many look at all of them so many so many oh and these here are the recipes that I got when I um did the hello the Hello Fresh here. They had. I wanted to keep these because they had so many good ones to make, and I was like, "Oh, this sounds good." I canceled the subscription because, um, you know, it's like sometimes it got a little, little pricey for me. And I was like, "Okay, well, I can just since I have the little cards here, I can just go ahead and just fix it." Um, like this, like this was my favorite salad here. Roasted chickpeas Caesar salad. This is one of my favorite ones that I made, um, make all the time. So I do like that one. But other than that, yeah, I probably keep these. But they put them on nice cards for you when you do do the Hello Fresh. This is not sponsored or anything. But um, yeah, like I said, I had a little a coupon or so I did it for maybe about six months or so and then that was it and I was like you know what I could just buy the stuff and then just make it you know kind of make it that way but anyway I'm gonna toss my some of my recipes here <laughs> I do like to nibble I know all of my snacks that I do have are not healthy but um these are the ones that I have and I just wanted to share it with you. I do have healthier snacks that I do like to eat. Of course, I don't gobbled them all up, but these are the ones I have here today and I'm just gonna share some of them. So this is the popcorn. I do like to um, get this popcorn. This comes from Target and I do like the um, skinny pop um, popcorn. That's one of my favorites, I do like that. 
and um, I do like the Sun Chips. I know they're not healthy, or they. I like these here, the cheese one, especially with um, some hummus. I usually dip them in my hummus. I am addicted to these with the hummus. So this one is a good one that I like to eat. And of course, my Tortito um, shells here, the um, multi-grain one by this brand here. This one here, I really do like um, this one with my apricot, um, guacamole and my hummus too as well. So that's that. Like I said, they're almost gone. You see, <laughs> I have my clips on. Of course, I have the not healthy, but I do like them because they are light, um, lightly salted. Like I said, I know they're not healthy, but every so often I do want some chips and I will either get these here or I will get um, these. This brand here. I like this brand. I like the purple ones. And there's another one. Um, I think it's the um, Mediterranean ones. They have the colorful chips. I like them, but yeah. So those are the only like potato chips I'll probably like eat just to try to stay a little bit healthy. <laughs> so yeah, so those are the chips. Now for my granolas, I do have two different kinds that I will buy. And I like this one. This one comes from Whole Foods. I usually try to get it when it's on sale. This is one of my favorite. It has the, um, let's see, the, what you call it, almonds and coconut and it pistachios or so. Yeah, pistachios. They do have another one that has the um, cashews and almond. So whichever one's on sale, I'll grab it. And of course, this is another, the peanut butter one in this brand, the kind is one of my favorites too. And um, I love to eat nuts. I am a nut eater. So every time I go somewhere, I have some in a little zip, um, a little zip bag, um, Ziploc bag, or either one of my little plastic travel bowls. So I love to get the big um, container of mixed nuts. And they are lightly salted too as well. What is this one? This one is... For the sodium on here, it is 70. There is one that's the, the sodium is lower than this one. So whichever one they have on sale, um, and if they have it, I'll get you either one. So anyway, I love nuts. And I do like the, uh, the Triscuits here. I only like them in the four cheese and herb one. These here are really good. Of course, with my hummus, my... Um, guacamole. Sometimes I'll take these here and I'll crumble them up in my salad to make it like a, if you have croutons, that'd be like my, my crumble for my salad. So I do like this. And I do like um, these little thin, they're like little rice cakes um, here. Very thin. See how thin they are? You get like five, one, two, it's like six in the pack here. And what I'll do, I'll put some peanut butter on it, or if I don't put the peanut butter, I may put some hummus, or sometimes I just eat them, just eat it plain. And I like these here. I like them because it's the red rice and quinoa. So this one here, I think it comes in like three other flavors or so, but this is the one I always buy. Especially like I said, with some peanut butter, you're good to go. And that's pretty much it. And my time bars here. These here, I always like to throw one in my, my book bag, my purse or so. And that's it. Of course, you can't, you got to have ice cream cones in the house, right? Right? <laughs> so other than that, that is it. That is it. Oh, and this here, this is my container that I put my walnuts in. I love to um, put walnuts in my oatmeal. Um, so I have, I found this little container here at home since. They had different sizes. They had this size, and I had a taller one, then another taller one. So anyway, this is a good one. It came with a little spoon here. I don't use the spoon, but anyway, I like to put my walnuts in here. 
And that is it for the snacks. Of course, I do have, if you order from nuts.com, this is a good, just plain roasted nuts with the shell. You can just, um, these are really good too, with the shell here. So, I used to get these. Put a little in the bowl and nibble on those too as well. Um, but yeah, that's all my snacks. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm fixing me a little, uh, little cereal right now. I'm having some Cheerios and um, I am going to um, put some of my walnuts in in my um, Cheerios here. So that's what I um, like to do. Sometimes um, I will put a um, banana in my in my Cheerios, but I'm out of bananas. I need to go grocery shopping. So um, I will do that. And um, I like to put my flaxseed a little bit of flaxseed in in here um, in my cereal or my oatmeal. I usually always put some like flax seeds. I just put it in this jar for now. So I'll put a little bit in there and then just use my almond milk. So I used to eat cereal back in the day all the time. I was a cereal eater, love cereal. Um, but now as an adult, um, as I've gotten older, I try to eat a little bit more healthier. So I'll either eat the Cheerios or most likely I will have my um, oatmeal. I love to have um, oatmeal with my almonds, blueberries. Um, I might chop up a um, banana and put in there too as well. And of course, I always shake some of my my flat seeds in in my cereal. But yeah, love love cereal. Um, it's one of my my favorite quick little easy meals to go to um, if I don't want a big um, breakfast. Yeah. Okay, guys. I found my favorite omelet pan. This is she. Look at my omelet. It's just sliding all over the pan without it sticking. It gives it a little brownness. Well, I like mine to have a little brownness, so I cooked it a little longer. And look at it. Nothing sticking. Nothing sticking. I have peppers and um, asparagus in here. I didn't have any spinach. So that's why I put it. But watch me flip it. Oh my gosh! Yes! This is the best frying pan. I never had a, a skillet like this that didn't stick with my omelet. Omelet. <laughs> I like it. It's a under the sink mat and it is, um, it says right here, waterproof and it's heavy duty. So this is pretty cool. So this is what it looks like. It's nice and thick, it's like a plastic type of mat. It's thick, it's pretty long. And I did have to cut like an inch, about an inch or so off of mine to fit underneath my cabinet. So I'm gonna put it under there and show you guys what it looks like. Here it is. So I did have to cut like an inch off going this way, then like an inch going that way too as well. And it fits perfect. So now it's nice and smooth. It that there, it uh you have your little dents there, but it'll uh, it'll go away once you put like your, your cleaning products or so if you put cleaning stuff underneath your sink. I usually put my cleaning stuff or my dish liquid under here. And, and that's it but yeah so now I feel more at ease because I do have something down to protect it just in case something happened knock on wood it doesn't but yes anyway I thought that was a nice little fine and I think it was only like ten dollars or so so yeah anyway just wanted to share Okay guys, here is my stash that I am putting in Goodwill. 
I have some things here in this bag. I need to find something to wrap, I guess, to wrap the glasses in so they won't get broken. Because um, I don't want them to break before, you know, before I take them to Goodwill. But anyway, these are the things I'm taking to Goodwill. I am so proud of myself. I did, um, did a lot, so that's great. My daughter is here. She's um, looking through my uh, stuff. Called it an indoor yard sale. <laughs> so she picked up a few things. Okay. And guys, the candles that she's taking, they come from Ulta. Yep. Those are nice candles. Help yourself. Yep, yep, yep. I'm ready. Have a good one. I will be seeing you later on. Have a good one. Come again. <laughs>Okay, guys, so I did clean up and I just wanted to show you my new TV stand. So I got a new TV stand. I did get this TV stand from um, Home Depot. They did come out and put it together for me and I like it. It's like a, um, like a navy blue color if you can see it. To me, it looks like, it looks like a black but it's really like a, um, a navy blue. I wanted like a little pop of color and I thought that would be a nice little pop of color there. So um, this um, cabinet here, it does slide. Like you can put the doors wherever you want to and it does have um, like the holes up there if you wanted to put your cable cords through there. So you can put, yeah, like I said, slide your, wherever you want your um, doors to be, this slide here opens and it has the holes too as well just like that I like it and it does have like the wood top finish very nice so the little knickknacks that I did pick up I put picked them up from home scent and it's just a vase a little vase I think this was like six dollars or so. so got that and then here's a nice candle that I got from home scent that smells really good, like a clean scent. And then um, just a cute little basket. And I got a little tray here. Put my um, remotes in. And this is a nice candle. It's very heavy though. This is a nice candle. It smells really good. I like the way it smells. Uh, that's the name of it. It smells really, really good. Oh yeah, that smells good not um not overpowering just clean like a clean scent if you like a clean scent and i got my new tv and i decided that i'm going to keep my old tv stand i like it and i think it looks pretty good over here on this side so i'm gonna keep it here i did have that little lantern there with the candle i had that um for a while so i put that under there I did get that little circle, little thing here from TJ Maxx. They had little decorations. And this here is just a bowl I found from Home Scent. And I was like, okay, let me go ahead and try that. It's like a kind of a gold tone. It looks like silver, but it's like a gold tone. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it. I think I'm going to just leave it like that for now. But yeah, so I like it just like that and then I just have a little basket there with my blanket if I get chilly and I picked up this um, this little circle here from from home scent too I thought I said well let me try this one to see how it look I absolutely like it I really do and got that then I got another candle here this one smells good too as well sorry that's a nice smelling candle, white um, pony or so. And here's the other candle. This is a nice one, smells very nice. And it has, I think it has like the, 
One, two, three, four, five wick. It's like five wicks there. Ooh, that smells really good. I can just smell it just by lifting this up. It smells really nice. Like I say, just another clean, clean scent. So yeah, so that's what it looks like over here. I did end up getting just two new pillows. And that was it. So guys, sorry this video was so long. Um, I just wanted to share with you what I did in the house and everything turned out nicely. So yeah, so anyway guys,